Greetings satellite operators. In this uh, video I'm going to show you exactly how I work the, uh, the satellites. I'm going to show you what software is working for me. I'm using a combination of Ham Radio Deluxe for the graphics and PC Sat uh, for the Doppler uh, correction. Uh, you can see over in the right hand corner the PC Sat program running and then Ham Radio Deluxe uh, Satellite, Charlie, Alpha, Sierra, 4, Alpha, will be visible in two minutes. Uh, for the remaining two-thirds of the screen, uh, working really well. I like the, uh, uh, the compass uh, that shows the satellite track on uh, uh, Ham Radio Deluxe. And uh, I like the uh, uh, predictions down at the bottom. Uh, showing the uh, current pass and uh, future passes. So with that, uh, I uh, want to make a comparison between the FM analog birds and the uh, linear satellite uh, birds. Uh, really, really hard to get into the analog FM birds because uh, so many people, they're the easy sats, easy ones to work, and so many people, Satellite, Charlie, Alpha, Sierra, 4, Alpha, will be visible in one minute. People are trying to get in at the same time. It's just a madhouse. Everybody talking over everybody. And uh, as you'll see in this uh, video, uh, as we make a contact, it's uh, just like talking to somebody uh, on, a, on a simplex frequency uh, without others interrupting. It's a nice... QSO setting where you can uh, exchange thoughts, views, and just simply have a regular conversation via the satellite as opposed to uh, uh, the FM birds with uh, 100 people trying to step over everybody else's signal trying to make a contact. Uh, I tried those to start with and they were such a can of worms that uh, I thought I just don't want to do this so I started. <laughs> Satellite, Charlie, Alpha, Sierra, 4, Alpha, is visible. Satellite Ka 4A rising. <laughs> Delving into the linear satellite and uh, works really well. So with that. Uh, we're going to go in here and we're going to work a satellite CAS 4A and 4B and uh, talk to a few people and it looks like uh, uh, we're coming up here. You can hear as you just heard, you heard the uh, satellite being announced. So here we go. Let's uh, give this a try and 7RBP. CQ Satellite, CQ Satellite, November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa, calling CQ Sat, CQ Sat. I do hear a station calling, we try again, November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa. Alpha Delta 5, Mike Tango is Delta 5.4. Alpha Delta 5, Mike Tango. Good to see you. November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa. Charlie, November 82. Over. Yeah, very good. I'm Charlie, November 82. 111? Okay. Yeah, finally, I'm hearing myself much better now. Uh, very good. The name here is Patrick, and I am located in. Uh, uh, Delta Mike 14, which is uh, in Southern California. I'm actually between Los Angeles and Palm Springs, Kyoto. Okay, Patrick, really good. Uh, the handle here, Bob Bravo Oscar Bravo, located in Medford, Oregon, 20 miles north of the California border. Go ahead. 
Yeah, very good. Yeah, you've got a very good signal, and it looks like I'm running about 30 watts, which is now a little more than I need, so I'm going to turn it down. Uh, I'm running an ICOM 9700, which I acquired a, a couple of weeks ago, and I, boy, I really enjoy this radio. No, Roger. Well, same here. I love it. Running uh, Ham Radio Deluxe for graphics and uh, PC32 for control. Yep, I'm running PC32 as well. It's controlling the radio. The uh, antenna rotator, and I have a pair of uh, M Square. It's the uh, the Leo um, Fat Pack from M Square. Nothing fancy, but it uh, it works well. Roger, I didn't think about getting some of those. Uh, I'm running a uh, Little Elk log periodic uh, on a radio shack rotor with a fixed elevation rotor. Well, it's, uh, it's working very well for you. I still feel like I'm on frequency a little bit. I'm just here, one, one, one. Uh, this, uh, that should be a little bit better. Uh, you know, I ran that setup uh, or, or comparable setup to what you have for, for a while before getting the uh, current antenna set up. And I was always very impressed. I had my little Yagi pointed up about 30 degrees on the uh, on a Radio Shack uh, small rotator, and they worked surprisingly well. Hey, Roger. Well, mine's working pretty good, but uh, uh, so on a scale of one to ten, with the Yagi versus the uh, uh, the uh, uh, egg beaters, what do you think? Okay, my question was, uh, scale of 1 to 10, how is the Yagi versus the Egg Beaters? Oh, I don't think there's any comparison. The Egg Beaters are, uh, I have a friend who runs a pair of Egg Beaters, and he is not happy with them compared to the uh, directional antenna. So I would try, unless you absolutely have no choice, I would uh, strongly suggest trying to stay away from the Egg Beaters. Uh, you said stay away from the Egg Beaters, over? Roger, Roger. Thank you for the uh, advice, and thank you very much for the advice. We're getting close to the end of the pass here, so I'll say 73, so thank you for the QSO, and I uh, hope to catch you again. We'll log you in. Uh, Alpha Delta 5, Mark 10, November 7, Romeo, Bravo, Papa, Charlie, November 82. Okay, Patrick, have a good night. And so, RVP, clear. Whiskey 7, Quebec, Lima, Delta, November 4-0, the 77 RBP, Charlie, November 82. I'm sure you're correct. We, I'm sure we worked. Uh, I seem to recognize that call. So I'm sure we worked before. Uh, I can't, I'm not looking at my log right now. I'm looking at the radio. So, anyhow, the signal's getting pretty weak, and I'm on the last leg of my uh, 20 degree before I lose it. So, thank you for the contact, and uh, we're we'll logging in there. Appreciate the contact. Whiskey 7, Quebec Lima, November 7, Romeo Bravo, Paul Paul. OK, 
Okay, thank you again for the contact. We appreciate it. Uh, Whiskey 7, Quebec Lima, November 7, Romeo Bravo Pop Pop. At the end of my pass, we're going to be QRT. CQ Satellite, CQ Satellite, November 7, where we are Bravo Pop Hot, Charlie November 82. CQ Satellite, CQ Satellite, November 7, where we are Bravo Pop Hot, Charlie November 82. Something Delta 5 Mike India. This is November 7, Romeo Bravo Papa. Come again with your call, please. Yeah. Bob, uh, let's see if you are uh, cracking up the power so I can hear myself a little bit better. Bob, I can hear you, but you do not have a very strong signal into the sunlight. And 7 RBB, Alpha Delta 5 Mike Tango. <coughs> Okay, Patrick. Okay. Uh, we caught you on the last pass. Uh, your signal is quite good into uh, Medford, Oregon. Go ahead. Yeah, that's much, much, uh, much better. The uh, sunlight is still west 11 degrees for me. Much higher for you, I'm sure. But uh, all right, I'm finally able to hear myself a little bit better. All right, how's this? 85 and 2. Yeah, okay, real good. I, uh, uh, when I was talking about the egg beater antennas, I thought that's what you were using was the N squared egg beaters. But I got onto your QRZ page and I see now that uh, uh, that's way different than the egg beaters over. Oh, Roger, Roger, yeah, definitely. No, no, well, I am not uh, using the egg beaters. The antenna system I have, as you saw in the picture, works uh, really well, except I'm not hearing the satellite very well. So I. I have a mass mount uh, preamp for 440 and for 140. It doesn't work very well on two meters. There's just too much uh, background noise. But on UHF, that preamp, mass mount preamp works really well. But anyways, I'm finally able to hear the satellite better now. Hopefully you're talking to still okay. Yeah, right here. I'm, I'm hearing, hearing you quite well now, Patrick. Uh, no problem. Actually, I was hearing you good uh, uh, when, I first, when you first came on, so. Anyhow, um, real good on that. Uh, like I said, I'm uh, just real simple with antennas with a uh, elk log periodic uh, fixed elevation and uh, radio shack rotor rover. Uh, there we go. I'm off frequency a little bit. Don't adjust. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, no. The uh, working side lights is relatively easy, assuming you have a radio and a way to. Okay, I missed about 50% uh, of that because I was turning my rotor from west to east. But uh, anyhow, how do you like your 9700? I love mine. The best thing's that sliced bread over. Oh, I, uh, I totally agree, Bob. I had a, uh, an ICOM 9100 for nearly a decade, and I, I did a lot of satellite work with the 9100. But I always uh, wanted to have a spectrum scope, and it comes in very handy. It's very easy to see where stations are and if I'm on frequency and so on. I really, really enjoy the 9700. You've got a great signal on the waterfall. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a beautiful radio, and I've been using it for uh, all kinds of stuff. I've like got the uh, Vegas firmware upgrade, and uh, then passing the photographs back and forth, and uh, Coast D Star, uh, it's only a deal, okay. Uh, Bob, I uh, lost 
your signal. I can hear myself really well, so I don't uh, think there's a problem here. But, Bob, I'm starting to lose you. Try it again. Yeah, okay. I uh, was just mentioning that uh, I like the full facets of the 9700 with the, the D-Star and passing photographs, and uh, it's just a multifaceted radio the way it Yep, no, I, I couldn't be happy with that. Well, I'll take that back. Uh, I have an ICOM, no, no, a, a, a Kenwood TS 890 that, that is a much bigger radio. I wish the ICOM 9700 was also a much bigger radio. Uh, I had an ICOM 7300 before, and I'm on frequency. I'll use a little bit. Let me adjust here. One, two, one, two, one, two. I had an ICOM 7300. I sold that for an ICOM 7610. But I, I always thought the 7610 was a little bit too much like a, a toy. It didn't feel very solid. And so I, uh, I call it an upgrade. But it's, I changed to a Kenwood TS-890, and I really enjoyed the larger radio. I wish the 9700 was a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's not a very big radio, but uh, there's a lot to it. So the 7610 is a beautiful radio. I'd love to have one of those myself. But, uh, my HF rig is a uh, FTDX 3000 with a uh, SDR play pan adapter. And uh, uh, love it when you uh, really pieces of it. Uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, I, uh, I do enjoy the SDR play. I do not get that connected to my HF radio, although I do that, but I have a couple of antennas connected to my SDR play, and I enjoy the, uh, the SDR, I use it almost every day just to see what's going on, to make sure my radio is on frequency, etc., etc. No, Roger, on that, Patrick. Okay, getting close to the end of the pass here again. I had a hard time when uh, it gets below 20 degrees, and, uh, once it does, it's like I'm shooting into my, my uh, neighbor's bathroom window. <laughs> so we'll let you go. Thanks again for the uh, QSO, and uh, nice to see you on two satellites. Alpha Delta Mike, Alpha Delta 5, Mike India. Uh, Mike Tango, uh, November 7, Romeo Bravo, Pong Pong.